guys, it's Clara. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a Dollar Tree haul, plus I will be talking about what I am giving for the Dollar Tree Charity Challenge collab. favorite time of the year at the Dollar Tree. This is the time of the year when a lot of new organizational items come out. As you may know by now, they have a lot of new kinds of baskets. I don't need many more, but I could not resist this one. I just thought this was just so, so cute. It's just a small kind of a tray basket. They do have larger ones of these. They do have deeper ones of these and circular ones of these. So I will post a picture, but I just thought this was so cute. I'm gonna be using this in our living room. Also found the Acne Free 3-in-1 Energizing Wipes. This is in the Iced Orange and Mint scent. Aim Floss Picks. This is a 60 pack for on the go. And these have been gone from my Dollar Tree for a really long time, but I'm so glad to finally find them. These are basically Velcro. They're called hook and loop fasteners in the black and the white. You can cut them down to the size that you need. Also needed for crafts is this mini glue stick pack of 20. Dry erase markers in pink, purple, and blue. This is a stocking stuffer. This is a 24 pack of the electronic wipes. Finally found this. I have been on the hunt. This is an owl phone case by Griffin for the iPhone 5. A shout out to Jennifer Miano who had mentioned that these are really good. This is a gift for one of my aunts. This is the old fashioned peanut brittle. Bought some gold paper bags. They have a ton of different designs of regular Christmas bags, but I just figured I'll just get the plain because what I typically do every year is I decorate these with ornaments. I love, love doing that. I've done that for my choir several times. Um, so what I do is I buy ornaments like these. I just kind of tie them onto the um, edge there. That way they can use this ornament somewhere else in their house if they want to and use this bag for another occasion, not necessarily Christmas. They're all a mess. I don't want to untangle them right now. As part of our giving tree, we're giving gifts to our neighbors. Bought some of these candy canes to make some peppermint bark. Several different types of treat bags. This is a 40 pack of the zip snack bags. A 30 pack with a zip seal. A 15 pack and these come with gold stickers to seal the bag and these are the biggest ones i bought this is a 25 pack of treat bags that come with ties for a few recipes this holiday season i bought some of the barilla linguine these huge 28 ounce cans of the tomato sauce and the diced tomatoes lady swaga had reviewed this and she said it's really good it's some adhesive spray I think I saw Teresa haul this, if I'm not mistaken. I think she hauled this in a vlog, one of her Vlogmas videos. This is the Good Health Veggie Straws. And this is tried and tested with my daughter, and she does like them. And for the first time, I will be trying their cotton rounds. These used to be in a blue pack, and I think I've heard the blue pack is better, but... I haven't tried either one, so I'm gonna give these a try. I'm gonna use these with toner. There's 80 per pack in here. I believe Target might have a better deal. And I decided to pick up this little elf guy. I don't know. We might try to do our own version of Elf on the Shelf. I don't have the book. I don't have the real thing. Moms in the mom group I'm in were kind of talking about, well, why don't we just start it with our little, little kids? And it could just be this thing where we hide the elf and they have to find it. He's a cutie, nonetheless. So I know Christmas is just around the corner in just a few days, but if you haven't given anything this season and would like to, I still would consider it. I called a couple different charities in my area to ask them what happens after the new year. Are the items that are donated around Christmas time enough to supply the need for the entire winter season? And what their managers had told me was that in the middle of January towards February is when they see the need start to go up again. This is especially true for food pantry especially when it comes to fresh items. As I had mentioned in the open call for this collab, if you have given this season or you will be, 
please do comment below and let me know what you're doing. I think it's really inspiring to read other people's comments and see what they have done. It really makes me think of what this season is about. So last year's charity collab, I had chosen several different locations. This time I chose to focus my efforts on three different places. The first was an adoptive family, which we always do through Salvation Army. And a lot of those items are things that are not at the Dollar Tree, so like clothing, toys that I didn't get at the Dollar Tree. I am going to add a few items though. They had a couple little girls who are on the list and these are cute little lunch boxes. They have all sorts of characters. They have Star Wars, they have Spider-Man. These are the Frozen characters. Also on their wish list was a lot of cleaning items. So I bought a bunch more of the Ajax bonus size dish liquid and I bought a few different kinds of these. So we have the Clara and Danver antibacterial hand soap and this one smells really good. This is the Silkians Ovation hand soap. For my second location is through our church. They have a food pantry. One of the items they require the most of are canned goods like beans. Bought a few cans of the Goya garbanzos and a few cans of the kidney beans. Coffee is also a frequently requested item as well. Just so you know, if you are an Ibotta user, they do have 50 cents off any ground coffee and it does work on this item. They also have some healthcare needs as well. So I bought a few packages of the cherry cough drops. I have seen some people haul the bulk bags of the hauls, but I have not seen that yet. Another highly requested item at our food pantry is bread. These fly off the shelf so quickly. These are not a frequently donated item because of their short shelf life, but even with the donations at our local bakeries, they still have a high need for bread. So I got the bagel thins. And the last organization I decided to donate to has a really special place in my heart. It is the Ronald McDonald House at our children's hospital. And if you don't know what that is, it is a charitable organization that provides temporary housing for parents and families of children who are in the hospital. So a lot of times you'll see parents there whose children are suffering from long-term illness, like if they have cancer, if they are in the NICU. I can tell you from first experience, these families have crazy, crazy schedules. These parents don't know when the doctor is gonna call them to the bedside. They don't know when their next shower might be. They don't know how long they're going to be at the bedside. It's a time of a lot of uncertainty and a lot of emotional turmoil. So the last thing on their mind amongst a lot of other things is eating. So sometimes it's very difficult for them to get food. You know, they might have to order pizza or they might have to eat on the go. I bought several boxes of this variety pack of instant oatmeal. It has cinnamon spice, maple and brown sugar, and apples and cinnamon. Mrs. Freshly's fruit and grain cereal bars in mixed berry and in strawberry. Also some value packs of the Snyder's eight count mini pretzels. And unfortunately, I was not able to find the bonus size of these. These are the Toast and Pop-Ups. These are good dupes for Pop-Tarts. The brown sugar cinnamon, frosted wild berry. And just FYI, if you have a Ronald McDonald house in your area and they're accepting donations, these are the ones that tended to be the most popular of the ones that I had donated last year. I had mentioned in several different videos now about how we had made a giving tree from the Dollar Tree jewelry holder. If you're looking for any ideas of different locations to donate, just go ahead and check that out. And if you do decide to join this collab, you don't have to have a YouTube channel. All you have to do is list below what you have donated this year or what you will be donating this year. If you do have a channel and you would like to participate, I would love for you to make a video. Try to post before the end of the year. And then in January, I'll be doing shout outs of everybody who had commented and had done videos. If you're a Dollar Tree shopper, they do oftentimes have collection boxes by the registers. I had talked to their employees last week. Depending on the store, it might go to a different cause. So one store had gone to a school program, another one had gone to a food pantry program. If, however, you do want to order in bulk, they do have these flyers all around the store. I found this one in the beauty section and it enables you to order a lot of an item and you could just ship it to the store for free. So that is it for this haul. I might go to the Dollar Tree one more time. Sometimes after Christmas, the Dollar Tree does have sales 
on their Christmas items. And I will have a peppermint bark video coming up about how I make my own. My version is more of kind of like a cookie version, but is delicious nonetheless. And that is it for this video. I do encourage you to give this holiday season. If you have already, please, I would love to hear. I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas and holiday season. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.